So what do you guys to change? Change terms and conditions? This thing, like, it, this is horrible. How, how am I gonna make? You just gotta make it look better because the like, user is gonna get bored seeing this every day. So Costa, Ahmed, this is the second to last week of stability. So how far have you progressed and what have you guys accomplished so far? We have got the Python code down and we hope to translate it into the Swift code. Right now we are trying to finalize the UI design and me and Amud are working on it together. So we're dividing our work by I'm doing the layout design. So we're going to be translating it into a pop app so we could get everything going and see how the multiple screens work. So then the output, all right, I see, perfect. Oh, don't pull the motion. We have Brian's down here, so I'm trying to help her in. We're just trying to, she has the entire sensor working that can read pH and everything looks fine. And we're working on how to send data through the Bluetooth to the Arduino drawing, and it's not seem to like send data. The only problem we're having right now is trying to get the code to work to just send the message to the phone. Otherwise, we're, we're right there. So what are you guys working on right now? So right now we are trying to design the user interface of the app. There's this one website that I found out that sort of helps to make a prototype of the app and later we could integrate the code and make it work as well. Ahmed is also trying to figure out something, some other apps. Yeah, well. so right now I'm trying to figure out the different scenarios within the application. So what invokes what, uh, what shortcuts go here and how the navigation of the application works. So I'm listing exactly how everything's gonna run. We're done with the user interface right now and the only thing that's remaining is connecting the front end to the back end. Fitbit. Is this Fitbit, what does it give you? What kind of code does it give you? Have you reviewed the code of the actual API? It's like... It's not a code, it's like the different... Is this app 100% dependent on that device, right? It yeah, seems like more. It. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it is. Alright, then what you need to do, you need to research everything by the end of this lunch to understand how that class works and how you're going to implement that in Java. You gotta do whatever you can. Because if you don't have that, then the entire project itself, maybe it's not gonna work. Because it seems like you're fully dependent on that Fitbit. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to make that work. Sure. So what are you doing here today? Um, so basically, uh, yesterday I put together the P sensor, the Bluetooth, and the Arduino, and I made. I was able to send the data to the Arduino, which is an Android app for the Arduino, and then now we're trying to be able to connect it to a mobile app that we created, and then like, be able to send the data, the page value. Basically, I'm making uh, an. Android app using Android Studios replicating the Android. So what are you guys doing here? Like what are you working on? 
we've run into some problem with figuring out how to get the data from the Fitbit and it's easier if we could do an or uh, do a web application on JavaScript. So I think we'll have to start doing the same thing on JavaScript right now. So that would be our objective. And probably switch to uh, Android Developer Studio mm -hmm. in order to do it. Yeah. yeah, and that's what we are figuring it out. Ahmed is looking up some looking JavaScript up code. Code, just to understand how yeah. it works. know what the status of your project is as of now. So right now we're finalizing the navigational user interface. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have started to code the project as well. So we have something tangible in the next few days. Do you guys think you will be able to finish everything by next week? Yes, yeah, most definitely. definitely. Okay, great, thank you. Alright, thank you. Hey guys, it's almost the end of week 7 and I would like to know what the status of your project is. So, so far we put together the software and the hardware together for a project and for the hardware we able to put together the pH sensor, Bluetooth and the Arduino and able to send data to a mobile app called ArduDroid which is for testing and then now we just need to um, integrate it with the mobile application that Brian created. Yeah, so I made an Android app with integrated Bluetooth and all, all we need to do now is test it out and integrate it all together. That's great. Mm -hmm. And do you guys think you will be able to finish this by next week? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I feel confident we could finish it. What about you, Brian? Yeah, I think uh, we can if we take the whole Saturday to work on it. Great. Thank you, guys. That's You're welcome. welcome.